Anisha. Today we have to attend a presentation on computer security in the auditorium. I do not understand how a computer can harm us and why do we need computer security? Let us ask the teacher. Kids, we all use internet for playing games, watching videos, sending emails, etc. All these things you do on the internet uses data. Consider the internet like a busy road and the data like traffic on this road which flows from all the directions. While internet looks very useful and necessary from outside, it may be very dangerous inside. We have to use it very carefully to stay safe. When we connect our computer to internet, we open up a whole new world of adventure, data and information. At the same time, we also open up a new world of potential dangers like malicious programs which steal, lock and delete our sensitive data. These malicious programs are also called malware. In this video, we will learn about malware and how to prevent computer from them. Malware is a catch-all phrase for any type of malicious software like viruses, worms and trojans. A computer virus is a program made of malicious code that can propagate itself from device to device. A virus typically attaches itself to an application, file or the boot sector of the hard drive. These files or applications to which the virus attaches itself are called the host. Once the virus attaches itself to the host, the host becomes infected. When the infected application or file runs in the computer, the virus activates and executes in the system. It can replicate itself and spread by attaching replicas of itself to other files and applications in the system. These computer viruses are of multiple types and each of them can infect the system in a different manner. For example, boot sector virus is a type of virus that infects the boot sector of the system, executing every time system is booted and before the operating system is loaded. A source code virus looks for source code and modifies it to include virus and to help spread it. A computer virus has an adverse effect on the system, but it can be prevented by discovering common signs of performance lost. Let us see some signs which helps to identify computer viruses. The first thing which comes to notice in case of virus attack is the speed of the system. In case a virus is completely executed into the system, the time taken to open applications may become longer and the entire system processing may start working slowly. Another sign of a computer virus is the too many pop-up windows appearing on the computer screen. Another indicator of a virus is when computer programs unexpectedly start opening in the background by themselves or close by themselves or when applications fail to load when selected from the start menu or their desktop icon. System crashes and the entire device unexpectedly closing down is another indicator of a virus. A computer virus is spread mostly unknowingly by sharing infected files or sending emails with viruses as attachments in the emails, games, utility programs, etc. Another source of viruses can be downloads from compromised application stores and infected code repositories.
A virus cannot spread on its own. It requires a human to execute its code. The virus are triggered only when the user opens the infected file or application, which means the virus may exist on the computer, but it cannot infect the computer unless we run or open the infected program. In the next video, we will learn about malwares like worms and trojans. We will also see how to protect our computer from viruses, worms and trojans. For more such interesting videos, please subscribe to our channel Head Start Learning. <laughs>